hi, my name's uh, my name's Sarah, and um, I'm a nutritionist. And uh, I've been asked by um, by Guy to um, to come and talk to you about um, the importance of hydration and um, and water in the diet. So um, our bodies are made up of um, about 60-70 percent of water, and which is why it's so important to drink loads of water really to keep our bodies in optimum um, um, sense and to be able to be work as efficiently as, as we possibly can. So as you age, unfortunately, that you um, you do lose muscle mass, which means that you actually don't have as much water in your body. Um, so it's just as important to drink water. And also um, you, um, you lose the ability to have the thirst to reflex. So you often don't even know you're thirsty. So you could be actually dehydrated um, easily Unfortunately, without even getting that desire to drink, which is what we all rely upon. Oh no, we're a bit thirsty. We we need to have that. We need to have that drink. But don't worry, there are other ways that you can um, get fluid into your into your diet quite easily without having to always have a have a glass of water. So other things I want to talk to you today. Okay, so what about some fruit and vegetables? So today I cut up for you um, a variety of fruit just to showcase how, um, how not only yummy they are, but also how they actually um, have loads of water on that you can eat. So pineapple, pineapple, this is um, absolutely yummy, full of, full of loads of water. If you cut it, you can see the, 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 come, the water coming off it. Nectarines, again, you can just see that, just really, um, really slippery, which means it's the water that's in it. The, um, the peaches I've got here, I've got melon, um, and, I've got, um, and I've got some satsuma. So this is just um, a real variety of, of fruit that you can eat. And at the moment, in the summer, I, such a good chance, isn't it? It's such a good time to eat all these wonderful fruits that are just so yummy. So um, if you like fruit and you like variety, then that's a really, really good way to get to get um, extra fluid into your diet. You could have a um, fruit, you could have as a fruit salad, it would be lovely as a pudding. You could have some fruit on top of your, your porridge, if you like porridge in the morning, or on top of your cereal. You could just eat the fruit just because, you know, just pick up an apple or just a satsuma or, or just a bowl, just a, a variety of fruit, any old how. So, um, so eating fruit, brilliant, okay? Loads of different fruit, all really, really good for you, as well as it's got fibre, antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, absolutely fantastic, so brilliant. The other thing we need to talk about is actually talk about different types of vegetables. So this is um, a yellow courgette. I think it's brilliant, it's a lovely colour. So you don't see this very often. I found this in a, um, a farm shop and I'm gonna make a, a, a carbonara actually with um, my other type of um, courgette. So these are brilliant, these are full of water um, courgettes. So again, absolutely brilliant to cook with. I use these all the time actually, courgettes. They go into almost every meal that we, that we make. We just chop them up and, and fry them up with um, some peppers. See, so peppers are absolutely brilliant. This is my, um, my red pepper. That I've cut up for you to show that that's um, again full of water. So again, if you like peppers, peppers are a really good source of actually of, of fluid. Um, the other thing we've got is we've got some um, some tomatoes. So tomatoes again are absolutely absolutely brilliant, full of full of water too. You can have those in in salads, can you? You could have them in make a bolognese sauce. You know, absolutely absolutely everything. Aubergine again. Um, Again, I don't know many people cook with aubergine, but actually it's a, an amazing um, vegetable to cook with. You can cook so many things. Last night I actually made an aubergine and pea curry, which I thought was really nice. Um, or you can make an aubergine dip, or you can just cut it up and make it in roasted vegetables. Again, absolutely brilliant. And then you've just got your box and a carrot. This one needs a good peel before you could use it. But again, carrot again, full of water. And again, you know, you could make so many, many things with it. So just to give you, that was just to give an example about fruit and vegetables and how important they are um, and, and how easy it is to incorporate them into your diet and then you can, you're up in your, your, your fluid. So soups is a really good way actually, um, if you wanted to, to make a soup, you could just grab a whole load of vegetables together, just add some stock cube, careful of the salt, and, um, and, and make a, a really yummy, really yummy soup. And if you don't actually want to make soup, you think actually, you know, can't be bothered to make soup, then you could buy bought soups. I mean, they, they'll be absolutely fine. There's those on the market. Um, 
And if you wanted to be even, even savvier to make sure that you have a little bit more um, fluid in your diet, you could also add a bit of water to the soup. I know I think my care used to that for my mum and I thought actually what a fantastic idea. So you can water down the soup a little bit more which will give it even more fluid. So for someone that you're yourself or you're caring for that you know doesn't drink enough water, these are some key ways to actually get some more fluid into the diet. So some other ways you could actually do it if you don't actually like the water or you like a hot drink is why not try a different selection of teas. So here I've got um, I've got red bush, which I think is absolutely fantastic. This is um, caffeine free, and it's just um, a really really nice refreshing drink that you can. I drink mine black. I think people can often either drink it black or maybe put it with a splash of milk. Either personal preference, it's fine. Um, or green tea. Green tea again is fantastic. Um, they come. This one happens to be from Waitrose, but you can get them everywhere. You know, everyone sells them like red bush everywhere. Everywhere sells them. And again, they come with different, you can just get it on its own, it comes with different tastes, so you can play around, see which one you actually like best. Um, or just a simple Earl Grey, which is fantastic, and really, really refreshing. Or oh, there's so many others, so many others I don't, I don't have. Um, lemon and ginger, loads of different herbal teas. You could try around with so many different kind of different combinations to actually see what like what it takes your fancy if you wanted to go down the route to drinking a hot drink and you preferred not to drink too much coffee or too much caffeinated tea. Um, the other way to do it is actually um, to, um, to maybe make a hot chocolate. So milk is, um, milk is really good, it's a really good rehydration um, fluid. So um, if you wanted to drink milk then that's uh, another way to, um, to get fluid into your body. So hot chocolate is full of sugar, okay, so do be wary of that. But if you wanted to have one once a day or once every now and again, then making hot chocolate or you could, is another key way to do it. You could always add it, just make it with water and then add a little bit of milk or just make it with milk. And that's a, another, another way. So I hope I've just given you some examples, the way that you can actually um, add some fruit and vegetables into your diet and that will hopefully um, bulk up the amount of um, fluid that you're actually getting just by eating some different fruit and vegetables and some and some different drinks. So the other thing I actually wanted to talk about, I want to talk about um, a couple of um, habits because um, as you lose your reflex to drink as you get older, um, if you actually maybe put a habit in place then that would be a really good um, way to actually make sure that you actually had some water, some fluid in, in, in the day. So in the morning, why not make sure that when you wake up and you come down and you're going to have your breakfast, you actually have a glass of water. So before anything, rehydrate yourself in the morning. Um, it might be that you need to take tablets anyway, so it might, might be a, a really good, a really good case to actually have the have the water to drink. Um, but in this hot weather, we, we're, we're waking up and we, um, you know, we need we need to rehydrate. Or in the winter when we've got the um, the heating on. Um, then again, we're going to be completely dehydrated. So drinking first thing in the morning, that's a really good habit to get into. So habits are really key. Try and think of any other habits that you might think that might work for you. It might work that you um, put a jug of water out and you set that up and that's something that you, that you, have, um, you have all day and you just keep topping yourself up. So there were, were different, different ideas that work for you and maybe um, that's something that can maybe um, have a, a plan to maybe, maybe gauge around. Okay, so I just want to talk to you um, quickly about, about um, why it's so important to be hydrated. So really, it's the dehydration that you don't want. So dehydration is, um, is when you might feel there are so many symptoms, you might feel that you might be feeling a little bit confused or it might be that you feel a bit tired, or you might feel um, a little bit wobbly on your feet. You might be that you're not going to the toilet quite often. Um, so many, so many different um, things that show that you're dehydrated. So that's why it's really, really important to keep yourself as hydrated as possible, to keep yourself feeling as good as good as you possibly can. So. Um, so, and the signs that you're not, that you are dehydrated, um, basically is gonna often come from, um, from your urine color. So if you go to the toilet and you notice that you, um, your wheat is really quite dark and sometimes it can be a bit smelly, then that often is a really, really good sign you're dehydrated and you need to go straight away and drink a glass of water, okay? That's um, a, a really good sign. 
if your wing is um, really um, a light colour, a light colour, then that's perfect because that means that you're perfectly hydrated. So actually, the colour of wee is one really, really good way. And as I know we get older, our skin does change, but a really good way as well is to, um, is, is to pick up your skin. So if you picked up your skin and it goes back straight away, then that's a good sign that you're hydrated, okay? If you pick up your skin and it go, it takes ages to get back, then that's a sign that you are dehydrated. So that again is another sign that you can that you can that you can showcase on yourself and on other people. So I hope you found this uh, this video um, useful, and I really hope that you go away and explore with some different fruit and vegetables. Maybe some vegetables you haven't tried before. Maybe you think actually I'll give that a go. That's great. Um, I'm going to go straight away and maybe make a fruit salad, or I'm going to go and buy some buy some veggies, and I'm going to make a stir fry. Remember, if you don't want to cut up loads of vegetables, if you think actually you know that's not what I'm interested in, you can buy them in a packet already made, and that's that, that's absolutely fine. You know, they're, they're still just as good. So have a go experimenting, making some making some vegetarian meals, making some stir fries, make, making some soups eating some delicious um, fruit that's out at the moment and drinking more water. Okay, so thank you very much for listening and I really hope to see you again soon. Thanks, bye.